Hey you guys, it's Alyssa, and I'm back. So, you guys voted on what video you wanted to see next, and so what we're doing today is who am I going to be with in 2019? Who am I going to get involved with? Um, who am I going to be dating potentially? Alright, that's what you guys wanted to know, so that's what we're going to try to find out. So we're going to have three options today. This is really a um, pick a Pokemon reading. If you don't know what a Pokemon is, that's fine. You can just choose the one that you like the most. So our first option is uh, Espeon here. Oh, option number two is uh, Sylveon. She's very bright and the light is like reflecting off of her, so I hope you can see her. And option three is my favorite, Umbreon. Okay? So, you can go ahead and make your choice. Um, I want to thank you guys again so, 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 so much for all the support and all the comments and all the likes and the views and stuff. It really is exciting to me um, how overwhelmingly positive my um, feedback has been for you guys. And, of course, if you want to get a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy store is down below. Also, if you'd like to make a donation, my PayPal link is also down there in the description. So, um, if you would like to support me in any way, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, you guys. We are going to go ahead now and get started with Group 1. Alright, Group 1, who are you going to be dealing with in 2019? Let's see. Um, so this is basically the same spread that I used for um, the Who's Coming Towards You Next reading that I did. Um, with some slight variations. So, uh, it, it might be interesting to um, check that video out and see how the... Uh, see how your readings compare, you know, if it sounds like it's describing a, a similar person. Anyway, um, alright, so I want to start by saying that I feel as if this is, um, this is going to be somebody new to you, okay? Um, there's just this real sense of discovery, okay? So, and, and right in the middle of these tarot cards, we've got the Fool. So, you know, I'm just really sensing something brand new. Um, however, I do think that this is somebody that you've known in a past life because we have past life relationship here. Um, and we also have a new start is coming. So, you know, you may not know this person yet in this lifetime, but you've known them before and so you're going to have an opportunity to start um, again with them. Um, and we also have the Forgiveness and Compromise cards. So these two cards make me feel like this could be something potentially karmic um, or I don't know. I just feel like you're going to be able to when you meet this person, you're going to be able to um, take care of some kind of like some kind of business from your past lives that you've shared together. Okay, so that said, um, for this person's overall energy. We have the Knight of Wands, so they could be a fire sign, but they don't necessarily have to be. Um, either way, I think this person is somebody who is very romantic, somebody who is, um, I feel like this is someone who has some very strong opinions, okay. Um, hmm, let's see. Somebody who, I think they are a very good communicator, okay, we've got Communicate Clearly, and... Let's see, we have, we have down here the Eight of Pentacles. So in this um, deck, this card talks about 
apathy and indifference. I don't think that they, this is going to be an apathetic person. Like I said, I feel like they have very strong opinions. I feel like they're very, um, I feel like they're very motivated. I feel like they're just, I feel like this is just somebody who's very laid back, okay? A very chill person. Um, you know, they care about things very deeply, but on the exterior, they are, they come off as very cool and, and level-headed. Okay, so I'm also seeing uh, red hair quite a lot. Okay, um, freckles, right? And light-colored eyes or brown eyes, I don't know. I mean, don't get too hung up on, like, the physical descriptions, but that's just what I'm seeing right now. Okay? We also have this card over here. This is Show the World the Real You. So, I feel like this is somebody who... is very um, comfortable in their own skin. I think this is someone who's very in tune with their own body. They they kind of just do what they want, like they dress how they want. Um, I mean, I don't think they're a bad dresser, okay? But like, they just do, they don't care really how other people feel about their appearance. And they don't care really how other people feel about them in general. Um, they're happy to do their own thing and live their own life, and they, they expect other people to leave them alone, <laughs> basically. Hmm. What else am I getting here? We have a look at the bigger picture, Full Moon and Sag. So I feel like for a lot of you this could be a Sagittarius, but... Again, don't get hung up on signs because they could be literally any sign. But I said earlier how this person, I think, has a lot of strong opinions, how they care very deeply about certain things. I think this is somebody who is a very much a, a big picture person. Like, they, they have really grand ideas, very grand visions for, you know, how the world should be and, and how things should could should be fixed and stuff like that um, they have ideas about you know how how can we make the world a better place but you know they're so big they're on such a huge scale that it's like how would you even implement something like that um, but they don't really see it that way like I feel like they think that their ideas are totally doable um, and they don't understand why other people, you know, they, to them, like, the solutions to problems, like, big problems, seem very simple, and they don't, they don't get why, you know, things haven't been fixed, because it just seems so easy to them, um, they don't really grasp just how, how huge a task they are talking about. Like, they don't grasp how how big of an issue it is. Like, for example, world hunger or something, you know, they're just, they might just be like, um, from their perspective, the solution might be very simple. Um, but they don't take into account, you know, the detail, the, the inner workings of how a solution for that would actually have to be implemented. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, and that's just an example. Anyway, also kind of random, I feel like this is somebody who likes reptiles and or amphibians. <laughs> they might have like a pet lizard or a pet snake or they might want to have a pet like that at some point. Um, also, for some of you guys, this person is into feet. Just saying. <laughs> um, anyway, I feel like this is somebody who, um, 
In terms of their career, they, I feel like it's somebody who does things for people, who, like, who helps people. Um, not necessarily in, like, a caregiving kind of role, though. I feel like this could be somebody who is, like, tech support or... Uh, they might even do, like, deliveries or something like that. Okay? Um... I just noticed there's a snake in this card, too. There's a lizard over here on this Seven of Wands, and there's a snake on the Fool card. So, yeah, I feel like they... This person might really like snakes. <laughs> um, this card over here, Take Time to Breathe Out, this is another card that talks about um, calm, serenity. So, again, I feel like this is somebody who is pretty chill, pretty laid back. Um, but, you know, that their personality doesn't stop them from caring very deeply about things and, you know, being interested in, uh, taking steps towards, you know, making a difference in the world. I feel like this could be somebody who's very interested in activism, okay, philanthropy, stuff like that. We have down here the High Priestess card. So the High Priestess is, you know, a very spiritual card. Um, so they could be interested in religion, spirituality. They could be interested in astrology. Um, but I feel like it's not really a subject they they are really an expert on. I don't feel like they know a ton about that those topics, but. Um, they're things that do interest them. So if those are things that you know a lot about, they would be very interested in hearing you talk about them. Okay. Um, and I said earlier, I think this person's a very good communicator. We have up here the Six of Pentacles. And this card, for me, is very much about communication, clear communication, equal give and take, um, reciprocation, okay, This is the um, Ten of Wands. So in this position, this is talking about their past experiences in relationships. Um, I feel like this person could be somebody who has been married before, or they've been in at least one very long-term, very serious relationship in the past um, with somebody that maybe they thought they were going to get married to or they almost got married to. Or like I said, they were married to, and it ended up uh, breaking apart. But I feel like this person is pretty mature in terms of, you know, knowing what they want in a relationship and um, how to navigate relationships and, and stuff like that. Okay. King of Swords, again, this is another card about communication. I feel like this is someone who's very truthful, very honest about how they feel. They don't really mince their words. Excuse me, my cat is up here. Excuse me, sir. Come on. Hey, stop. Stop. Oh, my God. You're stuck. Your foot is stuck. There. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Somebody who's pretty mature, somebody who knows how to navigate relationships, who knows what they want. Okay. Anyway. Um, we also have Seven of Wands. This is, again, I feel like this is talking about how this person is very courageous. You know, they, they don't hide who they are. They don't try to hide who they are. They know who they are, and... They feel like anybody who is worth having in their life is just going to accept that. Okay. And they, and again, they feel very strongly about certain things and they're willing to fight for what they believe in. No. Come on, get down. Get down. Ugh. He's testing me today. Okay, um... So, 
Uh, yeah, group one, that is, um, oh shit, I forgot to talk about this chemistry card. Chemistry. Um, a lot of attraction between you. Oh look, new love. I said at the beginning I felt like this was somebody new. Um, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. And we have engagement. So I feel like um, when you meet this person, when you start talking to this person, um, things could start to progress pretty quickly. So just be mindful of that. And if that's not something that you want to happen, just, you know, um, make sure you communicate that to them. Because I think they'll be understanding. Because like I said, they're a very mature person, I think. And, you know, they've been, they've done this before, you know. Um... And I think they'll be totally willing to take your wants into account and accommodate your needs, you know, in, in whatever way. Let's see if there's anything else. Playfulness. Allow your inner youthful spirit to sh of fun to shine. So this could be someone who's very playful. Oh, we got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And we got wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, yeah, this could be somebody that you end up being with for a very long time, you guys. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. So I don't feel like a lot of you are going to meet this person um, real soon. I feel like it will be a few months at the least. Um, for a lot of you, I'm feeling like summertime is when you might meet them. So if you've been, you know, waiting for somebody to come along for a while now, um, don't uh, don't give up hope just yet because someone is coming. This person is coming your way. Okay, don't worry about it. Um, and we have this big yes card, so... If... If you were wondering if anybody... If you're going to get involved with anybody this year... Um, the answer is yes. So, just... All you have to do now is sit back... And wait for them to come to you. Okay? Group 1, that was your reading... Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please let me know what you thought. I love to hear from you guys. I love reading your comments. And um, thank you so much for watching. Um, is there anything else I want to say? Mm, no, I don't think so. Group 1, this is going to be a good year for you. Okay, just just stay optimistic. Keep your chin up, you guys. Um, and we're going to move on now to group number two. All right, group two. Who are you, you are going to be involved with in 2019? Let's find out. So, um, first of all, I feel like for a lot of you, this is someone that you already know. Okay. And I know some of you guys are like, no, I don't want anybody that I already know. I want someone new. Well, I'm just telling you what the cards are saying. Um, I feel like this is somebody who you guys have parted ways with recently, in the recent past, maybe within the last year or so. Um, and maybe you have given up on anything ever coming from the situation because we have... We have the unlikely card. We have void, of course, moon. Nothing will come of the situation. Um, so I feel like that maybe that's how you guys have felt about this person. Like, okay, um, nothing's going to, you know, this is never going to turn into anything. So you let go of this person. Um, Maybe because they retreated away from you, or you had to retreat away from them for some reason. Um, and so you kind of just let it go, and, you, and you've and you been like, okay, I'm, 
I'm over it. I'm I'm ready for something different. Well, um, I feel like this person's going to be coming back in in this year. Um, we have two cards here. We have forgiveness and we have forgiving and learning. So, um, whatever happened between you, I feel like you're going to patch it up. You're going to patch it up. And things are going to be resolved. Issues are going to be resolved. You know, the apologies will be made. And, um... There will be a, a positive outcome, okay? We have a win-win outcome as forecast. So, all that said, I'm going to move this card over here, too. Who is this person? <laughs> um, right off the bat, we have the lover's card. This is their overall energy. So, there is a good possibility that this could be a Gemini. If it's not a Gemini, then may be a high-level soulmate twin, something like that, okay, but I can't say that for certain, um, we also have the communicate clearly card here, which, again, makes me feel like for a lot of you, this could be a Gemini, because Geminis are, you know, supposed to be the communicators of the zodiac, um, so Gemini or just a any air sign, but, Whatever their sign is, okay, we have we have here the Five of Cups as their past experience in relationships. So this makes me feel like this person has been hurt very deeply in the past by other people. Um, I don't feel like it was you. I don't feel like you were the one that has hurt them, but, I mean, maybe some, but, like, I feel like they were already damaged before you met them. Um, because underneath the Five of Cups, we have the Four of Cups. And underneath this Four of Cups, we have the Three of Swords. So this is somebody who's been very deeply wounded in the past. And I'm getting a sense of, like, depression almost. Or just very deep, profound um, loneliness. This is somebody who has been very lonely for a long time. Just sadness, just feeling like, just feeling low, feeling not good enough, okay, um, but we also have the, um, the Nine of Cups and the Fool card for what they would bring to you, um, Nine of Cups is about wishes being fulfilled, okay, so, um, this person could, you know, meet all of your standards, all of your requirements. This could be somebody who has all the qualities that you're looking for. And I think that you would have a fun time with this person. The Fool card, this is, you know, setting out on a new adventure, on a new journey, starting it, starting something brand new. And we also have Flirt. So this could be someone who's very flirty, who's very playful. Um... I feel like this is somebody who would really make you laugh a lot. Somebody who would really enjoy just talking, just talking about stuff, anything. Um, with this getting to know each other card, this is like, they would enjoy, you know, just, just learning things about you, just, just, just learning the most mundane, like, seemingly pointless little quirks that you have, okay? They would like that a lot. Um, we also have calling in your soulmate. So, again, I feel like this is a, a soulmate of some kind for you guys. And, again, I think this is somebody that you've, you already know that has exited your life and who will be coming back in this year. Okay, um, we have the Eight of Pentacles here representing their personality, so I feel like this is a pretty hard-working person. I feel like um, they could be, I'm getting a real, like, kind of blue-collar vibe. Um, 
so I feel like they might work with their hands a lot. Um, I definitely just, I just don't see this being somebody who works, you know, in an office or anything like that. Um, somebody who is not afraid to get dirty. Somebody who has to take a shower as soon as they get home from work. <laughs> um... Also, I feel like for a lot of you, this could be somebody who is not super well educated. Not to say that they're not smart. I think they are probably a pretty smart person, but I don't think they have a lot of formal education. Like, I don't think they went to college. You know, I feel like this person most likely um, finished high school and that was the extent of their, their schooling that they've had. Um... But I do think I do think this is somebody who is intelligent because we have here the High Priestess card. So I think that they are interested in. I feel like they're interested in religion. They're interested in spirituality, um, possibly like paranormal stuff, um, conspiracy theories, uh, extraterrestrials. This might be somebody, okay, don't get scared, but I'm getting that this might be the type of person who would be interested in listening to um, Coast to Coast AM. You guys know what that is? It's like a, a radio show where they talk about ghosts and aliens and all kinds of crazy shit. And it's, it's insane, but it's kind of entertaining. And I don't think that this was, I don't feel like they would listen to it, you know, seriously oh god I just threw that card I don't think they would listen to it seriously I feel like it would be they would have a very ironic enjoyment of that kind of thing does that make sense um but anyway uh let's see what else we have here the page of pentacles so I feel like this is somebody who probably takes some time to make decisions you know they're not real fast moving um, they don't, they don't do anything real hasty, um, or maybe they used to, they used to act too fast in the past and they've learned their lesson and now they're very deliberate about, you know, their decision making. Um, Three of Swords, again, I feel like this is somebody who is, who's been very deeply hurt in the past and I think that they are in the process or they've been in the process of healing we have temperance and we have the death card so i think that if this is somebody that you already know who is not in your life right now i think that while they've been gone they've been undergoing a transformation of some kind they've been doing a lot of healing okay um so that when they come back they're going to be a lot better it's going to go a lot differently in a good way Oh, excuse me and you guys will be able to like get to know each other all over again and it'll be fun like I'm getting a lot of really fun vibes from this person I think they're um they're pretty funny but I feel like it's kind of a I feel like it's more of a dry humor like dry sarcastic kind of deadpan humor possibly Let's see if there's anything else that I want to say about this person. Is there anything else? Yes. This is somebody who, if you have ever wondered if they're going to come back around, the answer is yes. Uh -huh. We got another yes. This time with an exclamation point, okay? And we also have Ask for Help from Others. I feel like this is somebody who, um, when they meet your friends, they're gonna really hit it off. Like, they're gonna be, they're gonna really love your friends. And you might love their friends, and it'll just be a big, happy friend fest. Um, we also have Within the Next Few Months. So, I think within the next few months, I would say, like, Within three months, probably, three or four months, you probably can expect to hear from this person. 
perfect timing. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is definitely a soulmate kind of thing. There's a reason why they left. Because they had work to do. And um, it wasn't time for you to be together. But your time is coming now. It's coming up. Yeah, look, not the right time. It wasn't the right time before. But now it is. Or, or the right time is quickly approaching. Oh, look. Within the next few weeks just fell out. Okay, so this... For some of you... Okay, okay, okay. If you're not in contact with this person, I think you can expect to hear from them within the next few weeks. And then within the next few months, things, I think, will actually begin to progress. I feel like you may, you might go out on a date in the next few months. You might meet up and do something together within the next few months. But I feel like most of you will hear from this person within the next few weeks. Alright guys, okay, I think that's it. I think that's all the messages that I'm getting here. Um, group 2. I like this reading. I always love it when people are, um, when people are taking steps to improve and, and heal and get better. And I think that's what your person is doing. And that makes me happy. So, um, yeah, that's your reading group, too. That is who you're going to be involved with in 2019. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave me a comment if this reading resonated with you, if it makes sense with your situation. I do love to hear from you guys. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, thanks again. I hope I see you next time, group two, and we're going to move on now to group number three. All right, my group three, who are you going to be involved with in 2019? Let's find out. So, I have to say that this character, this person, whose energy is in this spread, is, um, very interesting. <laughs> Okay, um, for some of you, I think this is someone you ha already know. For others, this is, will be somebody new. But you'll know. Um, obviously, you'll know if you already know them or not. <laughs> okay, so just take it how it applies to you. Um, so, this person. I'm getting some real, like... Leo vibes from this person. We have this card, Don't Let Pride Get in Your Way, Full Moon and Leo. Um, I think this is a very prideful individual. Okay, for their overall energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's very independent, highly successful, highly motivated, very assertive, very, like I said, successful. Um, I think they're main interests include making money we got ace of pentacles king of pentacles and knight of pentacles um so i feel like this is someone who's pretty established in their career they make a lot of money they could be an entrepreneur of some kind they could own their own business um they probably have their own place they probably have their own car they they probably um you know they're very, they're very established. They, they have, they have all, all the things <laughs> that they could need. Um, and I also think this is a very big personality here. We have the Six of Wands. Uh, yes, yeah, Six of Wands. So, big personality. They could be somebody who likes to party, like to get, have a good time. They like to get messed up a little bit. Um, and... Also, I feel like this is someone who doesn't mince their words. This is somebody who is going to be very forthcoming about things. If they think it, they say it. Um, 
I feel like this is someone who would say that they're brutally honest, which sometimes, you know, that's just code for I just say mean things <laughs> because I want to. Um, not to say that I think this is somebody who is, you know, mean or malicious at all, but, you know, I feel like this can be, this could be somebody who might say things sometimes that get them in trouble. Um, this is somebody who is very practical. Um, I don't think that they are very spiritual at all. Uh, they could be... They could be like a hardcore atheist or something, I don't know. Um, but either way, um, I feel like they operate entirely on the 3D, on the physical level. You know, they don't, uh, they don't practice any type of spirituality. They don't really have any particular beliefs in that regard. Um, but they... They have a lot of feelings. They're not like, you know, King of Swords is a little bit cold. He's a little bit um, icy. But this person has a lot of feelings. They feel very strongly about things, I think. And um, I feel like this is somebody who likes to argue. I feel like this is somebody who will tell someone if they're wrong. You know what I mean? And I think that could be, that could cause some issues with any relationship because we got this compromise card and we also have down here the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So this is someone with a really big personality, like I already said, and I feel like there will be um, disagreements between you. There will be fights, there will be arguments. I don't think it will be anything that will be, you know, devastating, but there will be a need for compromise, okay? You guys will have times where I think you're not going to want to look at each other, okay? Um, so, you know, that sounds a little bit stressful to me, but, you know, you might like that. I don't know. Um... Like I said, some of you, I think, already know this person because we have here the Four of Cups. So I feel like this is somebody who in the past maybe made you an offer and you weren't sure about it or you made them an offer and they weren't sure about it. Um, and we also have Release Your Ex and we have Reconciliation. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, this could be somebody that you already released and you're going to be reconciling with. Uh, we also have here the Two of Cups. I don't really feel like... So this card can talk about soulmates, it can talk about twin flames, but I don't really feel like that's the case here. I mean, it could be. I can't confirm or deny that. Um, but I feel like this is mostly talking about, like... Despite the arguments, despite the fights that you may have, this is somebody who is still very loving, who will still be there behind you at the end of the day, okay? Um, also, we have the Seven of Swords. This is their past experience in relationships. So I think in the past, they have been betrayed by people that they've been with, and so they could be a little bit distrustful, you know? They might, um, they might see sneaky behavior where it doesn't actually exist. You know what I'm saying? Um, we also have Eight of Cups here. This is, in this position, this is like their appearance. So I'm feeling like they could have longer hair, kind of shaggy hair. Um, dark hair though. And I feel like they're a little bit darker skinned, like their complexion is darker, like regardless of their race, they're, they're a little darker skinned. Um, they could wear glasses. 
Okay. Um, I feel like you guys will have a lot of mutual friends, though, if you don't already. And um, that's probably a good thing because, you know, when you argue, you'll have these, you'll have some mediators to um, kind of help help things to simmer down. Uh, see if there's anything else we get about this person. In the near future, meditation brings answers. Some of you guys, I think, already know. If you already know this person, I think that some part of you intuitively knows that you're going to be together at some point. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, you're going to meet them in the near future. I feel like in the next in the next couple of weeks. Um, whoa! If you do know this person, if you do know this person, then things will start to happen between you within the next few months. And if you haven't met them yet, once you meet them, it'll be within the next few months that things will per start to move. Um, let's see. Alright, this deck doesn't want to say anything else. What is that? Flirt. Yeah, okay, I'm getting like real... <laughs> this is almost like a love-hate kind of vibe. Because it's like, even if you're furious at each other, you're still going to love each other. You know, you're still going to be backing each other up. And I don't think that it would ever be possible for you to go to bed angry. You know what I mean? This is someone who's stubborn, and I feel like you you might be kind of stubborn too. And your stubbornness together, it's like... You just play off of each other. Getting to know each other. If you don't know this person yet, you're going to have a real good time getting to know them. Okay. And passion, yeah. Whoa. So, definitely very strong attraction between the two of you. Um, also, the finances and career card came out. So, like I was saying, this is somebody who's very involved in their work. Who, like I said, their main interest is making money, I think. Um, they always have new ideas. They always have new, uh, I want to say schemes. <laughs> um, new plans to make more money. Um, almost like a... I don't know. Never mind. Um, anyway, so, okay, uh, group three, I think I'm going to end your reading right here. I hope this uh, was enjoyable. I hope this was interesting. If this resonated with you, please feel free to let me know. I love to read you guys' comments. Um, thank you for watching. And if you're from a previous group and you're still here, thanks for sticking around. Thank you again for watching me. Thank you for supporting me. Um, I really, I can't even tell you enough, like, how much I appreciate you guys. Honestly. So, yeah, that was your reading. That's uh, who you're going to be with in 2019, who you're going to get involved with. I hope you liked it, you guys. Um... Like I said at the beginning, this was the top choice in the poll, 
so um, I hope that it lived up to your expectations. And, um, yeah, I, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!